Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. A quick weather update. It's our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, got any questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. We'll be glad to know where you're located and what exactly your weather is like. So if you've got that thermometer hanging out the kitchen window, put it to good use and let us know more about what you see out there. We're currently seeing a lot of cloud cover across much of the Mid-South. The view from Rhodes College, mostly over overcast for this morning and also seeing again some rain showers moving through parts of central Memphis. We have no severe weather early on but we may see some more thunderstorms later on this morning into this afternoon. Showers across the area of the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi early on and again possibility of needing the umbrella throughout the course of the rest of the morning so keep that with you and remember operating you have to have your headlights on. Showers and thunderstorms you can look back from the Germantown area around City Hall Cam back toward the east where you can see Again, the area back to around the towers of East Memphis around 240 in Poplar. 70 degrees, nothing showing up in the rain gauge at least just yet. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will be possible throughout the rest of the morning. Right on in through drive time, unfortunately, lessening a bit according to the current forecast. This one forecast here set up mainly for Shelby County in the Memphis metro area, so less of a chance of showers and thunderstorms through about 8 to 9 o'clock, but more chances as you see farther on down the line toward about 11 to 12 o'clock this afternoon. That's where we see, again, the potential for more showers and thunderstorms. It could be a problem for outdoor activities, graduation practices, ceremonies, outdoor athletic events, stuff like that. So please keep that in mind. Rest of the day today, again, showers and thunderstorms in the green shaded area. Could be the possibility of, again, more potential problem for the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving outdoors. So remember, if you have anything in the way of outdoor activities, when thunder roars, go indoors. Get back inside to a sturdy building, and that'll help protect you. Showers and thunderstorms. Thunderstorms will be popping up throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. More widespread activity possible as we get into around the area of early to mid-afternoon when the atmosphere is at its most turbulent as the sun shines down and continues to cook the lower levels of the atmosphere. That's when we'll see the hottest temperatures and the best chance for showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South. And that'll continue right on in through about dinner time tonight and into very early this evening. Now through and into tomorrow morning, not that much expected through News Channel 3 daybreak early Saturday morning, but unfortunately we will be looking at a return to more showers and thunderstorms as we get into the rest of the day tomorrow, and even more widespread activity is going to be possible as we get into Sunday. So if you have outdoor plans for today, the weekend, and into early next week, yeah, you have the possibility of getting them taken care of, but just please, number one, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 via our website or on air, and we'll keep you updated on that. Severe threat for today, non-existent at least at least for widespread potential. We could see some isolated severe weather, kind of like what we saw yesterday. Severe threat for tomorrow, also not showing up at this time, and likewise into Sunday. The only closest chance we have is going to be well back on up to our north with a marginal threat back up around the Ohio River Valley, Cincinnati, Cleveland, south and east of Chicago, back toward New England, and portions of New York State. So not that much going on for where we are. Seven-day forecast, mid to upper 80s for the rest of the day today. Again, a little bit above normal, very sultry, continuing to see some of those showers and thunderstorms out there. Now, through the day today, again, we've got that 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms through today. We've got a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow as well. So tomorrow, a lot like today. And then as we get into the round of the forecast on Sunday, we start to ramp that up to a 60% coverage chance. So outdoor activities probably better on Saturday rather than Sunday. And again, should be able to keep outdoor activities activities going, but just once again, critically important to remember, get everybody back indoors again to a sturdy building when thunder roars, go indoors. Definitely want to consider that if you have any outdoor plans out there. Cooling off and drying out, so some nicer weather on the way as we get into around the mid to late week, but by next weekend, we could be pushing 90 degrees once again across much of the area as we go into June. We'll talk about that on Daybreak coming up in just a little bit. Grab our weather app, whatever platform you've got, search WREG Weather if you'd like to find out more about what's coming your way from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. 
My complete forecast available on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh in the next couple of hours, so stay tuned for more there. And definitely want to stay tuned for more with the forecast on my social media pages. Be glad to help you understand what's going on with weather. Any other questions, there should be an email address right here. So if you have any questions, austin.onic at wreg.com. I've got to head out to the desk and finish up the last half hour of daybreak. We'll be on throughout the rest of the morning, keeping track of anything involving severe weather. And if you have any questions about the forecast, this is the place to be for more on that throughout the rest of the day today. And especially, I'll be on throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. So stay tuned for more information there. Thanks for joining me this morning for our exclusive video weather blog update, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day, tonight, and into the weekend on air and online.